Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of games that really old people like me played back in the day. Today we're going to look at a game called Polaris for the Radio Shack Color Computer. Polaris was a Missile Command clone. Missile Command being a very famous uh, arcade game. Um, and as usual, to avoid copyright issues, I guess they changed things up a little bit, and in this case, it is uh, submarines. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the manual here for the game. So made in 1981. Polaris for all color computers. Protect your island by destroying as many enemy missiles as possible. Score points for every enemy missile you destroy, every island you save, and every missile you have left. An exciting one or two player game for the whole family. Said my family would never play with me. Or whatever. Loading instructions. Yeah, who cares? Introduction. The object of Polaris is to get the highest possible score by eliminating as many missiles as you can before they wipe out your islands. Your efforts to destroy the missiles will always be thwarted because they will continually rain down and shower terror, increasing in speed and numbers at each new level of play. If you're accurate, you'll be rewarded by additional islands, a score multiplier, and higher scores. So what they're saying here is that there's actually no point of playing the game because uh, everyone will die eventually anyway. So you may as well just let the missiles uh, kill everyone to begin with, just to get it over with. At least that's how I read into it. Um, starting the game. So one or two players, so you can go head to head for best score with your buds. I was kidding about my family not playing games with me, by the way. Uh, they, they would play games with me. Uh, and so would my buddies. But uh, usually when my buddies came over, they had like uh, more advanced systems eventually. So I was kind of late to get the NES, so I was still uh, jamming on my uh, Coco when a lot of my buds had the NES. And uh, they would come over and be like, these are the games you have? And I'd be like, yeah. But they still liked a lot of them. Game operation. Any missiles will appear, and you kill them using ZX or C. Okay. Uh, each containing nine missiles for a total of 27 missiles. So that's kind of an important uh, thing because uh, the missiles come in from certain sides, so some uh, firing missiles from your sub on the left to missiles coming on the left is more efficient. You can get to them quicker. Uh, but if you run out of missiles, that's, that's kind of a problem. Scoring points. The screen uh, diagram shows the scoring and appearance of each uh, factor that makes up your scoring ability. I don't know why that sounded confusing to me. But I guess it's not really. Um, your score will be determined by the following factors. Kill stuff and don't get killed to get lots of points. And starting over. After you have gone down to total defeat or surrender, uh, by pressing R, uh, you can reset the game. And you can reset the game actually in the middle of the game. You don't have to wait till you till you die in this game. The enemy will regroup and the battle will begin again. Your fruitless efforts to save your islands. Special note for advanced players. Hmm, let's see what this is. At the very advanced levels of play, enemy missiles fall at a high rate of speed in ever-increasing numbers. You must try to take out as many enemy missiles as possible with each shot. If you explode a missile near the edge of the screen, the explosion will wrap around, and probably the explosion will appear on the other side of the screen. This can be used effectively when missiles are near opposite edges of the screen. Use one of your missiles to destroy both enemy missiles to conserve your defenses. Very interesting. We'll have to try that. I probably won't be able to do it, but we're going to try it. During an attack round, you may use one of your missiles to explode your 
score or your opponent's score, which can severely rattle your opponent. The scores will be restored at the start of the next round, but the psychological effect can be devastating if your opponent is unprepared for this type of mental assault. Blowing up the scores will not earn your points or earn you points, and it will cost uh, you the missile uh, required to do the job. Only you can decide on your worth of this maneuver. Hmm. I've never done this in single player because I didn't want to mentally destroy myself. Maybe I'll do it for you guys. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at Polaris, aka Missile Command, on the Coco. Uh, since I don't have any friends, we're going to do one single player. Option number one. All right. Here we go. Oop. Sorry. A little rusty. Okay. Didn't do the through the next screen, but that's okay. Here we go. And you can see on the submarines, the little dots, it's kind of indicating your number of missiles. It kind of looks like a texture, but it is not a texture. That is your missile count. Uh, you don't want to wait too long until those missiles ah, break apart or get in big trouble. Like that. So you can't take too much time to think about it or that the miss the warhead splits. Which is bad. Fast. Damn it. Oh, got one of my islands back. Should blow up my score. I get for playing around. <laughs> it's too fast. Looking good. Oh, 
No! Get away from my island! Oh! No! No! Bullshit. back not for long I don't think okay here we go boom 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 die you missiles ah. Ow. Ow. Game over. So four thousand four hundred ninety-three points. Arrow six X. Uh, I don't know what that means. That's probably the section where I got confused when they were talking about the score. Why couldn't it just be points? I don't know what that is supposed to mean. I could go back and read it, but I don't really care. Um, Polaris Missile Command for the Coco. Pretty classic gameplay, classic game. Still holds up, still fun. Always enjoy a rousing game of Missile Command every now and then. And I enjoyed it for making this video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I have to say about Polaris. Peace.